I've never seen. What are they carrying in there? Is that just uh, me, is that Mr. Food? Small Town? That's food delivery. Or have seen, I've never seen that before ever. Okay. All right, then. That's crazy. That All right, I was like, whoa. There's a lot of myths out there around how to build muscle tissue and volume. And we're gonna crack into some of these myths and what you actually need to know and what's going to work for you guys for building muscle tissue. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different and it's not always as simple as just a math formula of weight times reps equals volume, even if that's the basis of it. And we'll jump into that. Perfect. Perfect. You only need to increase weight or reps to see progress. While this is the basis of it, you do have other pieces to progressive overload that come into the equation, such as intensity variables. Perfect. 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 While low volume training is great for building up strength, which can translate into hypertrophic movements, keep in mind that powerlifters that are doing lower volume are actually because they're getting close to their weight cap. If not, they're actually doing higher volume workouts around the eight rep range, sometimes a little bit higher. When they get too big and too close to that weight cap, they actually reduce down their volume so they don't grow as much muscle tissue to outgrow their weight cap. Now, take that logic and transition it into muscle building. You wanna build as much to muscle tissue as possible. You definitely want to obtain more volume rather than that four to six rep range. On top of it, the reward is much lower than the risk is. So reducing down risk, increasing the reward is always the goal. So one of my favorite movements to get warmed up with on my shoulders is going to be a spider crawl. You essentially think that you're Spider-Man, crawl up and down the wall, make sure that you get a complete stretch at the top, complete stretch out of the bottom, and complete stretch even in the middle, constant tension on your shoulders and stimulus. So make sure that the band is taut at all times. You can take it and you're gonna wrap it like this. You can take it and wrap it like this. And then you can control it, right? right so okay. if you want it tighter, you just come in a little bit tighter and you wrap it and it stays locked in, right? Okay. Because you have it locked. Right. And when you stretch, you stretch it kind of close together and then when you walk it down, you press yourself out. Just careful on the band on the way up to make sure it doesn't hit that. Have you ever seen a burn victim? Okay. So don't, don't bend your back, like keep, stay upright. Stand upright the whole time and then walk it up with your shoulders and get them close together. Keep walking it up, up. Hmm. I really like training my rear delts. So I'll definitely do this during my dumbbell movements okay. or even sometimes before it. I'm just gonna grab a half ounce. <laughs> Loosen it up a little bit and go further back. I want you to get it all the way into your adults. Good. <sighs> Tuck your elbows. Tuck your elbows. Good. Now it's on your chest. Good. Very good. Good. Very good. I don't want to hurt my elbow again because it's forever to Take stop hurting. Huh? Take it light. If this is what feels good to you, if, you, if 90s I'm, feel good to you, you do 90s. If 80s I'm gonna feel say, good to you. I'm going to do those one more time. I go up after that. If we're do, how many more sets do you want to do? Two to three more max. Okay. It's going to be right around two, maybe three. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll figure that out when I do this next set. Like, I think that's one reason why I actually ended up tearing my shoulders, like the benches you were, were too, too big for it. Yeah, it's too big for the benches. These are wide enough for- I've been on some like that, yeah. Yeah, Crunch has, they used to have two small benches. They actually have bigger benches now, but. <laughs> Maybe me, I don't know. Let's, let's know. get the same height. I don't know, okay. We're about the same width, you're wide. Maybe so. I, it's my back, but I bet you're thicker. Let's see, turn this side. I don't know. Yeah, your arm's bigger. You know, one thing about this gym, they really promote heavy lifting. It's so hard to put the hundreds back up there, but the 110s are right on the bottom shelf, so 
We're doing the 110 time just because I don't want to rack the hundreds again. <laughs> oh, another thing that makes it a lot easier to rack weight is if you use your leg to rack it, so you have it on your knee and then you shimmy it on. And he walks up and his man handles it. He literally was just like, oh, I'm carrying a camera and the 110 at the same time. So, put on the leg, shimmy it on. Oop, drops right in place. Bend your elbows more and more diagonal. Much better, now it's on your chest. Good. <clears throat> Don't roll your traps forward. Drop the seat down a little bit, it may be easier for you. I'll left, right hand side. Up um, there? That should be good, yeah. That's about it. Yep, that's good. You, you want to go up? You want me to stop there or go up? Um, go down and go down and wait. We'll both go down and wait on this next one. Okay. We'll do 80 on each side. Right. I'll go down with you. Okay. So enough about the myths. These are the facts and the takeaway points that I would like you guys to get out of this. When it comes to overall muscle building, volume is the king in the tried and true. Weight times reps equals overall growth. However, don't always focus on the numbers because eventually you might get injured. The last thing you wanna do is get injured because getting injured sets you back further than it allows you to go forward. The more consistent you can be, the more overall growth you're going to get. Injuries also create imbalances in your physique over time. When you're getting close to your plateau or even getting close to an injury, you can do things to increase stimulus, such as time under tension, shorter rest breaks. Even something that we didn't talk about in this video was occlusion training or blood flow restriction. These are great ways to still get closer to that hypertrophy range without risking as much injury. If you guys are finding this type of education helpful to you guys, I would love to hear it down below. On top of that, also let me know what you guys would like to see next and to learn about. I love engagement with this community and we also have a Discord channel if you guys wanna jump over there. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.